Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To's. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a Layer AI account. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. So how to exactly create our Outlayer AI account? Well, creating one is pretty easy, but there are going to be a few things that you need to do here and you need to make sure that you meet. So first things first is you want to go to their official website, which is going to be Outlayer.ai. And in here, in order for you to create your account, we need to view some opportunities. So as you can see in the official website, we only have log in and view opportunities. Now, in order for you to create your account here in Outlayer, you need to apply for an opportunity, which in this case, you just need to click on view opportunities at the top right here. And should load up opportunities if uh, a certain opportunity is available on your country. Now, not all opportunities are going to be available to you. Depend, uh, it will depend on where you currently at. So, in this case, you could choose what type here. So, you have language, specialist, coders, journalists, and quality assurance. You can even choose the location here. So, in my case, I've chosen all, but you can go and specify which country you want to uh, specify here. So, you have Philippines, Peru, Peru. Uh, Poland, Portugal, if you want. So as an example, maybe I want to apply for an AI language auditor for Tagalog. Now in here, there are going to be some information and some responsibilities that you'll be doing on this specific opportunity. So there are going to be some requirements here. Make sure that you meet those. Like for example, this needs to be a post, uh, you need to have a postgraduate degree or experience in a translation or experience with professional writing or editing. Now. There are going to be some details here, like the base fee for this one, which is 7.50 per hour, which is uh, uh, kind of average here. And also, we have the following application information. So you need to provide your first name, last name, email, and phone. And also, you need to provide or upload your resume. Now, in here, you could provide your LinkedIn profile. And also answer a few questions here regarding this application. Like for an example, we have, are you a native Tagalog speaker or have you studied Tagalog as a second language to C1 or C2 level? So you can go ahead and answer here. Uh, in this case, uh, depending on their experience here, you can answer yes. For this one, which country do you currently decide? And are you authorized to work in the country you're currently based in? So in this case, you could go ahead and uh, basically answer it. Now, once you provide all the details, go ahead and click on submit application and that will submit your application. And you just need to wait for them to reply to you if your application has been uh, approved. So there are there is going to be some waiting time here that you need to do. So they will contact you uh, via the contact details that you provided here. So either your email or phone. So just make sure that to be ready to answer any inquiries from them. They might give you some other assessments, some tests here just to verify that your uh, application is really legit and your skills and uh, your um, capabilities are really true. So yeah, go ahead and uh, interact with them. But once you have been accepted, you should be able or they should be able to create your account here in that layer and you should be able to access the website. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.